Welcome back to the third day of May. These cards get a reprint, please, for the love of God, or something along those lines. It's a very long and very unnecessarily long title at that. Now, today, we're talking about everyone's favorite dark boy, darkest, underdog, garbage man. Everyone's favorite plus one. They just, Darkest just is not good. Unless you pair it up with Aquos or Pyrus maybe. Like Darkest sucks. I'm I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It it does. I wish it wasn't true, but it is. But I wanna do a challenge for myself this video. When we go over the cards. I'm going to attempt to not mention either Aquos before doesn't count. I didn't make this challenge yet, so it doesn't count. Or Fury. Those are my own personal challenges because that's where my brain, my synapses are wired. I just have an Aquos or Fury gene that I just, it's implanted in my brain and whenever my synapses, my neurons just fire, they always just, they, they just, the Fury and Aquos Gene just grab onto it and go, we're talking about this now! So, I'm going to try to not mention either of them when discussing the cards that I'm going to mention today. But just know if I have a vein popping out the side of my head, I'm going to be okay. I'm going to live through it. And just know that I was pretty much saying Aquos or Fury in that instance. For a competitive sake, because I'm not going to let some silly challenge not enable me to talk about what these cards belong in naturally or competitively. So when I freeze or go, just know, just know, this is, this is our code. This is my Morse code to you. That's my, that's my tell. Darkest. We can't mention Darkest without saying Pact of Darkest. That's the best flip card in the game. Pretty much the only reason you would bring your little brother Darkest along to hang out with your friends. Uh, Pyrus Cinderella's. Does that count? That doesn't count. That doesn't count. I didn't say the F word. I didn't say the F word. Pact of Darkness is an expensive card. It is an SR in the biggest set to date. Set one was huge, monstrous, like I would say millions of cards. They're not literally millions, but it is hard to pull the exact card you want out of a set just so massive. That's why Pact of Darkness has been relatively expensive. And the, the Hex version of it, forget about it. It is so expensive for no reason. And in fact, I wish that was what was on the faction box, even though you'd kind of have to do this to look at the product because it would be the only faction box that would have a flip as its poster child, but it would be well deserving of it. Pack the Darkness is by far the best card in Darkest. And that's kind of not saying a lot because the card pool is very limited and expensive and gimmicky to say the least. Like, there's not a lot of good cards in Darkest. So, it's, it's self-explanatory. It's a free flip. Like, it, it, it says everything for you. The only caveat is I wish there was more sacrifice cards, maybe like a better China Riot to where it gives a permanent boost to not the attacks, but to the actual Bakugan like Mac does to increase your team attacks. So even when you're taking damage, sacrifice allows you to gain some advantage. And we just need better sacrifice cards in general because it has just been so disappointing having Shadow Coil, the only sacrifice card worth running whatsoever. And you can't even use it when Pact of Darkness is activating because, okay, you got plus four damage, turns over, buddy. I don't know what you're doing with it. So, 
It's just a mechanic that died out before its time. It could have been so interesting if it was implemented correctly and they could have just gone so crazy with it, especially with the, albeit expensive, Pyrus cards that just allow both players to discard their whole hands and draw either the same amount that they discarded or three cards in the form of Molten Stomp. Now, Sacrifice would have been so cool. We just need more Sacrifice cards because, man, because, Certain decks like to have their hands empty. And it would be cool if we got some bonus to trimming out the hand in more aggressive means. But at least we have a another faction that allows you to play a lot of stuff with sync. Tharkis is not good on its own. Tharkis is not... Uh, uh, now is the time we talk about Age of Aurelis. <laughs> I hate this set so much. I hate this set so much. Have you ever bought a box of Age of Aurelis? If you're one of those lucky few, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The set just sucks. You don't pull anything you want. It's full of garbage cards for no reason. And you have to buy like so many boxes before you pull a playset or leave or even one card of what you want and one card that eludes thousands or hundreds or tens of boxes that I've seen opened is Nova Burst and this like parasitic power I've only seen in hex maybe I think someone has a non hex but there are some cards in this set that seem to only come as hexes which as an SR, which is already hard to pull given all the other boo-boo SRs that are in this set, it just minimizes the possible odds of receiving that card. And it's, I've only seen like two in the world. Like Nova Burst is one of the hardest cards to pull for no reason. And it's for a completely fun, casual deck. It's not competitively viable. It's pretty much, you know, how I was going off about Sacrifice. This is kind of a post-sacrifice bonus card where you're not, the cards you're discarding don't necessarily gain advantage, but you can use the cards that you have discarded. It's, it's fun. I just want to have fun. I want my three Nova Burst. I want to activate huge knowledge on turn three. I want to activate Elemental Storm on turn three. I just want to play Nova Burst. I just want to. So this being in there, is going to make me happy and it's going to at least let people witness what Nova Burst even looks like because before that I put this picture up I bet you didn't even know what it looked like I bet you never seen it that's what I do here Magnus YouTube provides you're welcome now this card I would much prefer to see it power creeped I know that is a horrible thing to say that is profanity among the TCG community, but Dark Fortune, it's a three cost search and evo. But hear me out, with fusions on the horizon and cores that, you know, minus the cost of said fusions, evos might become obsolete. That's all I'm saying. Evos might, depending on how good this fusion support is, like HTN is always gonna be good. Serp, Serp is always gonna be good. There are certain evils that are always just gonna maintain their value just because they're so unique and they do stuff that other cards just cannot catch up to. But the point remains, you have to draw your evos, you have to play your evos. There's a lot of work that comes with evos. Now with fusions, you could just go, you know, so Dark Fortune being a three cost, you can't play that the same turn. This is gonna cause a lot of controversy because it is the same problem that comes innately with Baku Treasure where it's, oh, I play zero cost and oh, I drew the thing I need and I can play it when I otherwise could not have if I used Deep Dive where I would have had to pay a cost in order to draw the card that I needed, but I can't play it this turn because I did pay an energy for what I otherwise would not have with Baku Treasure. Give me a one cost Dark Fortune. At least a one cost. I feel like zero cost is gonna be a little bit too nuts, 
But until we get something like that where it's one or two costs, I'd even settle for two, but two I feel is a little bit pricey, especially with the power creep that is already being cast our way. And HTN doesn't run Darkest. HTN doesn't run Darkest. The only thing you'd have to worry about is SERP. Which I'm gonna shut up now. So we'll deal with Dark Fortune while we have it. That is the thing that needs to get reprinted because Evos, they just need a friend in the upcoming future. It's six bucks right now and that, that's kind of cringe. Dark Fortune is only used in SERP right now. So it just, give it the natural upgrade. Thunderstorm, another Age of Aurelis classic. It has the RA printed on the bottom. There's only like a one per box, which a box is like what, 36 or something like that. Like, no, 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 just kidding. Like, like 10 packs, one of 10 packs. I forget, you can't buy boxes of H of Aurelis. Monty Kev was just dishing out 10 at a time. Like he was, he was doing Spin Master's job for all y'all. Thunderstorm is one of those cards that, it's, it's their reroll. It's one cost plus 200. And guess what? Sacrifice, you get to re-roll. Please make good sacrifice cards, please. Because sacrificing one for a re-roll makes it not worth it in decks that otherwise run darkest, like Serp Burn. It can't run it because it doesn't want to discard the cards it wants every card in its hand. And again, I know sacrifice cards have their place, like in... F <sighs> Nevertheless, it's a good card. It needs to be reprinted. There's none of it in the world, it seems. So it's one of those cards that is just, it's a staple that hasn't been able to be clipped onto every deck that it can be. I mean, it's one of those staples that are in some decks. I would argue Mind Slip is another reroll that Darkest really would like to cling onto, but Mind Slip is not in any way, shape, or form hard to get your hands on. It's a two cost reroll and also choose a player to discard a card from their hand. It's very good in things like Darkest Hyper Cuppo, which also should be the darkest Bakugan in the blind boxes with the evil that comes with it because the darkest hyper cubbo is also hard to get your mitts on so that's it just give darkest access to more sacrifice cards the cards that already let them discard cards from their hands so people can start playing the darkest engine that's all i want to say <sighs> reprint darkest couple because it's also in a stupid starter deck no one wants to buy because aquos paradian sucks Aquos Pravian sucks now. It had its time for like two seconds and then died. And now you have to buy Darkest Cubbo in that stupid starter set that everyone has to deal with because Armored Elite boxes are not anywhere to be seen? Hmm. Anyway, I wanna go off on 10 minutes of doing that, but this was Darkest. This was Darkest, everybody. Haha, <laughs> yes, Darkest is over. Sorry. There's not much to Darkest. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share with a friend. Tomorrow was Chaos. The light that'll penetrate the Darkest because Darkest is way worse than Chaos. But that, you guys have a great day. See you tomorrow.